okay, this uh, this doodle pad is not working very, very well. I'll try to do these next time at the whiteboard because I think the recording is so much better. But for tonight, it's all I have. And I want these questions for Tony or Shania or Connor, MJ Landon, Shay, uh, any one of these people who might want to write, I think you should have a chance to look at this. So I'm looking at the question where you've got three masses linked together in a system. We have to figure out the acceleration. So. Uh, just as quickly as I can, I'll draw a very simple table. So we have a, a, a table, and then uh, on that table we have a mass up top. I'm drawing them bigger so maybe you can read them even with my bad handwriting. And then we have another mass on the right, and we have another mass on the left. Okay, I'm drawing them more to read than they would actually look. The top, I believe, was a 15 kilogram book. Over here we had a 35 kilogram weight, and here we had a 20 kilogram weight. Then these were joined by a string um, so that they are all together in a system. Whoops, over like this, something like this, and then there was a, you know a pulley here and here, and uh, it really doesn't look that good. But anyways, you get the idea, right? We've got these three masses, they're linked somehow in a system. What do you do? Well, the first thing to do is really look at, you know, where are our forces here? Let's draw them in. So we can see that we've got uh, the force of gravity acting here and the force of gravity acting over here. Um, we also know that we have a frictional force, but we don't know which way to apply it yet. We know that friction resists motion, we're just not sure which side. Well, common sense, we've got a 35 kilogram mass, 20 kilogram mass, well, the 35 kilogram mass can have more force, so probably that's going down, the 20 is going up, and the 15 is going towards the 35. Uh, but let's see if the math bears it out. So here, like I said, this can be considered the force of gravity one or something. That'll be the mass times the force of gravity. So that's 20 multiplied by 9.81. Boy, that's messy. Um, but anyways, then that'll be uh, 196.2, 196.2 newtons. Okay, then over here, well, how's gravity acting on this one? I hope it's bigger, force of gravity two maybe, mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So we've got 35 multiplied by um, 9.81. And that is uh, hopefully a bigger number. Yes, it is. It's 343.35. Newtons. Okay, so we can see that we've got a stronger force here than here. Um, so I'm going to apply friction, but the best thing probably to do is to redraw this whole thing as just a single mass because when they're linked, they act like a single mass once you figure out all the forces. So this is really like having a big box that is 25 plus 15 is 35, 35 and another 35 is 70. So we've got a single big block of 70 kilograms. And uh, we've got force of gravity 2 acting on this side, so that's 343.35. Whoa, 0.35. And then we've got force of gravity 1 acting directly against it, um, and that's at 196.2. Uh, so I'm going to assign this to be negative, this to be positive. I can already see that I've got a greater force this way. So I'm also going to say, well, when you're totaling up here, you better add the force of friction, which I think is in the question. Yeah, and it's in the question is 15 newtons. So I added it to the side that's working against motion. Friction is always against motion. So when I add these all up to get my total force, so I want my net force, I'm really just going to add them all up, paying attention to signs. So that really is, you know, the force of gravity 2 plus force of gravity 1 plus the force of friction. And that's all true, but pay attention to your signs. So 343.35 plus, it's going to get messy just because I'm out of, oh, it's so hard. Um, minus 196.2 plus minus uh, 15. Okay, so I'm going to add up all my negatives, take that out of my positive here, and I'll get a total force of 132.15 newtons. It's positive, so it must be towards the side that I identified as positive. Mm -hmm. um, 
So now that I've got force, I can just go back in here and do a, a pretty straightforward, uh, my force net is equal to my mass times my acceleration. In this case, I'm going to move mass over, divide it on this side, divide it on that side. So I'll simply have force over my mass will give the acceleration that I need. That's what I'm looking for. So that'll be 132.15 over 70. It's still the system. The whole system will be accelerating at the same rate. Uh, and I get 1.89. 1.89 meters per second squared then the question was well what about this book right just the book itself so in this case look this is accelerating upwards at 1.89 this is accelerating to the right at 1.89 and this is accelerating down at 1.89 they're all linked together they accelerate at the same rate so if you're reporting this as your answer you have to look at the at the book itself and say that it is accelerating to the right okay at 1.89 um great that's it one more question.